I always had this dream that I'd have this, like, this really, this really big family. I was diagnosed with a fear of getting too close. And it oh! What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? I was worried about you. The only one whose life's been pulled apart. I... Spending one you came by last Look, I don't know what you think you saw, but it wasn't ever been in love. Yeah, Nancy Wheeler, first semester, senior year. <laughs> Are you still in love with Nancy? No. I still love hope. Not everything has a happy ending. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, I know. <laughs> I'm talking like a full brood of Harrington's, like five, six kids. Six? Yeah. Like, like, it's great. Like, we're in love and uh, we're part bullshit. You don't love me? I figured all of us Harringtons would pack into something like this and just see the country. I'm permitted to see a silver lining, many of us end of the world, doom and gloom. It would be the rekindling of some old flames that frankly never should have been snuffed out. Steve? Be careful. Are you implying that I still have a thing for Nance? No, I'm not implying. I'm You're... stating. Thank me. Yeah. For forgiving me at the biggest thump of its life two years ago. It's amazing what the hard times can reveal. <sighs> <sighs> Thanks. Yeah. It's amazing what the hard times can reveal. The Wheeler, right there. She didn't waste a second. Not one second. She just dove right in. Now, I don't know what happened between you two. If I were you, I would get her back. And different. Like, if we're meeting together the first time right now, part of me, I don't know, part of me thinks that we would have made it. Remember the dream I told you about? But the Winnebago about seeing the country in my six all nuggets. But I left one part out. You're there. You've always been there.